Okay, so I'm going to give this a shot. I don't mess with Inkscape much. Uh, I'm going to drag this pumpkin that I got from you in here. And if you'll notice, as we zoom in, it's a bitmap. See how pixelated it is? So what we need to do is trace it and turn it into a vector. So I'm going to select it so that the bounding box is around it. And I'm going to go up here to Object, and I'm going to select, whoa, no, I'm going to go to Path, and select Trace Bitmap. And I've got Live Preview turned on. I've got Edge Detection on. You can do it this way also. I'm going to choose Edge Detection, so we'll get these defined lines here. So then I'm going to hit OK. Now, you'll notice the bounding box changed a little bit, but what it did, it made a duplicate. If you drag that up a little bit, you'll see that your bitmap is underneath. So I'm going to select it and delete it. Then I'm going to choose this vector and pull it back in. And if we zoom in, you can see now that it is not a bitmap. Okay. Now the problem is, is we need to ungroup these. I would think that you want to delete some of these paths. Um, and I don't know if you use break apart. Uh, I tried ungroup. And then I think if we go over here, we can select the different vectors, but it's still selecting them all at once. Um, break apart. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Ah, looky here. But it messed it up right here. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what I just did. Uh, let me zoom back in here. It looks like when I did the edge threshold, it didn't take this one very well. Okay, I'm going to have to play with this a little bit. What I do want to do is show you how I normally do one in my workflow. Now, I know that I've talked about Lightburn. I know you've seen a lot about it. You could save yourself hours and hours and hours and hours of work. Let's pull up this again. I'm going to drag this pumpkin into Lightburn. Okay. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to hit Alt-T for Trace. And you can see here the outlines that it traced. I'm going to hit OK. It does the same thing. It just turned this into a vector. If we zoom into it now, you can see its lines instead. Now, I can select this box, hit Ungroup, and go in here and delete the inner ones. Now I've got a nice clean cut around the outside. Uh, and then you can turn it red, which here you don't have to. In Lightburn, you choose that's going to be a cut. You set your speed to 100 and your power to 80 and you're good. Then if you want some text in there, it's going to cut right now. So I'm going to choose my mouse button, go here, change to something else. Now it's a scan. You can preview and see what it's going to do. This is going to scan. This is going to cut. You can have this many different layers of different things in here. So, I mean, it's hella incredible. So, uh, you may want to think about this in the future because it will literally save you lots of time, lots of dollars, lots of headaches. It'll pay for itself. The cohesion board and the light burn will, will pay for itself. You know, you're, you're looking at about 200 bucks to do this. Uh, but seriously, if you're selling these products at all, um, and it's taking you a couple of hours to design something, you can design something in five minutes. Just think about the productivity there. Anyway, I'm sorry. I did not mean to get off the subject. I'm going to try this. Uh, I, actually, I'm going to look up a video. I, I got you so far uh, as to get it as a vector. Um, let me pull it back in here and do it again. 
So we're going to drag the document in, embed, hit OK. Then we're going to make sure that it's selected. And for some reason, edge detection cut those edges off. So we're going to go back to path and trace bitmap. And I'm going to use this one this time, brightness cutoff. This is what it defaults to. And I'm going to hit OK. Close it. Drag this. I believe that's the vector. It is. It's nice and smooth. This one down here is fuzzy. So we're going to delete it. Now you have your vector. It's converted to a vector. Then you can change the color of it. And that needs to be 255, 255, right? There you go. There's pure red. So that's cut. But now the problem is it's going to try to cut that entire thing. Now, I believe if we don't have any fill, wait a minute, and we turn on stroke, look at what I just did. Let's make this red again. Zero, zero, 255. Whoa. What just happened? No objects. I might have deleted it. Okay. So that's stroke. 255. This needs to be zero too, doesn't it? Oh no, that's what happened. That's opacity. Never mind. That's the alpha channel. All right. So now we've got basically what we had in Lightburn, except we still need to figure out how to break these apart, I think, so that you can get that inside part out so that this part won't cut the inside line. I'm assuming that you don't want it to cut. Um, so we're a little bit farther. We need to turn fill off and turn stroke on and you'll get this. Um, <clears throat> Object break apart. Ah, look what it did. It did it. Break apart did it. Look at this. Boom. All right. We did it. We did it. Now, we're going to do it again. We're going to drag in the pumpkin. Embed, leave everything else default. We're going to drag it over. Make sure the bounding box is around this, that this object is selected. Go to Path, Trace Bitmap, leave it on Brightness Cutoff. You shouldn't have to play with the threshold. If Live Preview is not showing up, you can click it. You have to hit Update, I think. Actually, that doesn't do anything. Hit OK. The bounding box changed. Close it. Drag this down. This is the one on top is your vector, but you can zoom in and see that that's the vector. So you want to select your bitmap that was underneath and delete it. Drag your vector back over. Go over to fill. Turn it off. Go to stroke. Solid stroke. And it's red. 255 and then 00, zero and then your alpha channel is your opacity is 0. Well, it's 255 on the alpha. Alright. While it's still selected, Go to object, wasn't it, or path, no, path, path, and click break apart. And that just broke those sections apart. So let's zoom in a little. Now you can select this and delete it, select this and delete it, and you've got your outline. Now the other thing you could do is if you wanted to scan this part, Not fill. No fill. Stroke. Blue. No. Stroke. Okay, now it's being weird. You can change your colors. No fill. Oh, wait. Let's try it this way. Zero. 255. Boom. We just changed your inside one to, to blue. How about that?
Okay, does that look like it worked? So, I think we did it. All right, let me know if that helps or if you need some more help. Talk to you later. Good luck.